Hey guys, what's up? Kardaka here, and today I'm here with another Nenor unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing the Ayana Mire from the new Evangelion movie. And uh, yeah, we have already opened the old uh, uniform version, and we also opened the different Askas. So right now we're going to be here with the plug suit version of Rei. So let's get right into the unboxing! Alright, so here we have the uh, Nenoroid itself. So let's open her up and see what she comes with. I believe she'll be kind of similar uh, similar to the Asuka one that we got. I think she comes with a weapon and the uh, cockpit. And then I think just the rest of it is just uh, accessories for the Nenoroid itself. Alright, so here we have the Nenoroid. Let's have a look at the main body first. So she's retailing at 5,080 yen, so uh, I think with the amount of accessories she comes with, that's a pretty fair price. Uh, if you guys watched my newest video, the Chica was 6,000 yen and she comes with not nearly as much accessories, so definitely quite good. Uh, I do notice something off the top though, the, the body ex is extremely loose, or the, the joint here, so I'm not sure if... Let me, let me see if the backup joint is uh, any better. Alright, so here is the backup joint. We're going to take it off and take this part out and see if it's a problem with the joint itself or if the molding is oh, the molding is just loose all right so i took out the joint so let's put this in here and see if if it's any better all right. nope so it's okay it's also it's very loose you can see this spins around very, very easily. So I'm guessing this is a problem with the actual body. Uh, nothing you can't fix with with um, with tap with a sticky tack, though. All right. So loose body aside, <laughs> as you can see, this is very, very dangly. Loose body aside, let's let's have a look at the actual body itself, the body sculpt. So. Very similar to the Asuka design, except obviously this is uh, in the black, gray, and green suit. So looks pretty good. There's the nine here. Okay, and it, obviously this has joints, but uh, again, since this the plug suit, uh, I think the plug suits do a pretty good job in hiding the joints. So the the leg part here looks pretty good too. Yeah, not bad. And she has also has like a semi, a semi matte finish. Uh, there are parts where it's extra shiny, but it's pretty cool. But yeah, the head is bothering me. It's very, very loose. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at its accessories. So we have two face plates. This one is kind of a shy worried face and this one is uh kind of like a i think this is the, the face that she'll make when she's piloting the eva so and this is and her regular face these these two faces are actually really similar these are typical dandy faces dandy faces all right so that's her i think i'll probably use this face plate because it looks pretty good Definitely different from the faceplates that I have been using uh, on my uniform version. All right, so let's also have a look at her, oops, at her cockpit. There you go. There go. Slide it in there and just match the peg with this part. Of course, you're gonna have to fix this. All right, let's try to fix it. 
first. We're gonna put a little bit of sticky tack in there, just for a little bit. Just use a little bit, just to help the joint fit better in the hole. Helps a little bit. Maybe I need a little bit more. So, if you want to grab this out, you have to get an, an object to kind of uh, put in there. But okay, yeah, this how this definitely works a lot better now. It's less. It doesn't spin 360 degrees as easily. All right, so there we go. We'll put that in there for now. Don't leave it in there for too long. It's not good for the mineroid. All right, so next we're, we're gonna look at the second blister. So, here we go. So we have some extra set, uh, accessories in here. This part is where the joint was, so ignore that. Uh, this is part is for the cockpit, I believe. We get this part. So let's grab that, put that in there. You have to have her hands, piling hands. It's these ones. All right, let's let's see how she is. So uh, my Asuka is still being displayed with the cockpit. So probably gonna do the same with this one. It just looks pretty cool. So keep it that way. I really like the the weapon that she has, the scythe. So here is the here's how she looks like when she's piloting in her cockpit. Uh, yeah, they kind of. Fix the parts here. It's, it's make it have a better angle, but you know, for this for this review purposes, this is how she kind of looks like. Not bad. Um, it's pretty cool. But let's take her out and have her pose in some other poses. I want I want to have her pose uh, grabbing the scythe. So well, let's try that out. And they also shaped your booty pretty well. Like, it's pretty cute. All right, uh, go. But, but let me know. Did, did you guys have really uh, have a really loose head for Ray, or is it just me? It's probably just me. They, they usually won't have problems like this. Okay, there we go. I'll go for that. And we'll just put this back in there. It actually looks really good. I actually might pose her with the scythe instead. Because this looks really good. Then I'm going to have to change my Asuka pose and have her wield her dual sickle thing instead too. That's pretty nice. And uh, let's have her put this on too. All right. 
So Asuka had a similar one. I'm guessing this is related to the plot. Uh, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched Evangelion, the new, new movie yet, so no spoilers down below. But yeah, looking pretty good so far. go so there she is but yeah I really really like the scythe let's actually have a better look at it so weapon wise this is made very very well uh, there is a metallic finish to it I, you guys can't really see this you guys can't really see it, but there is a metallic finish to it. And the the red paint is just matte finished. So it looks very nice. This looks like a very, very high quality uh, weapon. Unlike some other weapons that uh, usually come with accessories, those usually are kind of um, eh, but this one looks really good. All right, and we also have some extra hands uh, that comes with in addition to those. So these are the cockpit pilot hands that we used previously. Here are the open palm hands. Or the these are open palm hands. And these are I'm using it with this one right now, but this is a wider palm hand. And then we also have this one. Wait, no, not this one. These two are together. Yeah, okay, I guess we only get three. And we also have a scythe hand. It comes with an extra scythe hand. This is the one that we used for the scythe. Fits pretty snugly in there. But there's only one hand can wield a scythe, so I guess that kind of limits posing a little bit, but just just by just by a little bit. Okay. So overall, pretty good anyway. It's definitely on par with the Asuka one. Uh, for mine, of course, there is a little problem with her head here, but nothing little blue tack can't blue tack can't fix. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys if you guys had the similar problem with this one. I, I hope it's not a mass produced problem. I'm definitely not, I'm not going to deduct points because of this one because usually there are a little bit of problems with uh, joints here and there, so definitely not not bad. But overall, I'm very very satisfied with Nidoroid. Quite nice. I do like the big set piece accessories that this comes with mainly the cockpit and the scythe so if you bought the asuka one you definitely have to buy the ray one i also have the mari one coming in so excited for that too but that's pretty much it for this nano review guys hope you guys enjoyed it this is kartaku and i'll see you guys next time